So let's talk about variation. So what I mean by variation is that you make a measurement and the data is not identical. And that can happen both within an experiment, that the individual cell lines or animals or people on which we collect data are all a little bit different from each other. There is also variation between experiments. If the exact same observations were made on different days, on different, with different equipment, or by different scientists, we will frequently see variation due to that replication. When I say variation or noise, I'm referring to the same thing. What I mean is the fact that when you make a measurement on one occasion or on one sample versus another, even if in truth things are the same, the measurements might be a little bit different. And that can be for biological or for technical reasons. So noise can arise either from the biology itself or the physical world. It could also uh, arise from your experimental uh, technique or, or, or your measurement. If the noise is arising uh, from the biological system itself, that can be very interesting. It gives you great insight into many biological processes. In fact, many people uh, analyze uh, noise arising from gene expression, for example, um, as providing information about how gene regulation works. So noise can provide information. On the other hand, noise can arise from um, your equipment or your technique or uh, the way you're going through your entire experiment. And obviously, that kind of noise is, uh, in a way, confounding your results because uh, it's adding more variation uh, that can be difficult to interpret.